Steve, we are just seeing the latest lines from the People's Daily saying that China must stick to the COVID zero policy, that it is a sustainable way forward for growth. Yeah, I agree with Marco. What he said uh, is that there are signs of relaxation, generally speaking, but nothing's going to happen uh, between now and the Party Congress and through the Party Congress. A 180-degree turn on COVID zero is simply not going to happen. In fact, it might even get worse. And that's what I've been kind of saying for quite some time now. As we head up to the Party Congress, which starts on Sunday, uh, you're going to see local municipalities and provincial leaders worried that they could get blamed if uh, there's a resurgence of COVID and that's what you're kind of seeing across China and Shanghai. Yes, the worries are resuming because uh, districts like Minhang District, uh, they've uh, been restricted to their compounds, residential compounds. There were a total of 1,878 new cases found on Sunday uh, after a week-long holiday, of course, people coming back and there's new cases. Shanghai had 34 cases uh, reported on Sunday, two found outside of the quarantine system. So several districts have been found to have, uh, you know, uh, barricades put up around residential compounds. There's even one city in Shanxi province, Yongji. It did not have a single COVID case, but the entire city of 400,000 people has been put into lockdown because authorities there are worried of those returning residents from the holiday could spread the virus to them. So that's the extreme measures that authorities are taking across China.